Assalamu alaikum guys Welcome to another episode of Smart Jannah Smart Jannah <laughs> Celebrities and depression A bit of spit came out They don't go together, do they? Well, not for the average lay person anyway They have what you and I have been made to aspire fame and fortune. Why do we go to school? So we can get a good job. Why to get a good job? So we can get the dough, the dosh, the wonga, the peas, the pounds, the dollars. I've run out now, I've run out. And even me when I was young, I used to think these guys, they've got it now. We're gonna start off with the Beatles. Now, these guys were big. Uh, as a Beatle, we made it and there was nothing to do. We had money, we had uh, fame and there was no joy. You know? Your whole life you're trying to get something, you finally got it. Now what? It reminds me of Only Fools and Horses. Del Boy always said, this time next year I'm gonna be a millionaire. And when he finally does... You know now I've done it, now I've achieved what I wanted. The chase, you know, it's finished. And... The hunt is over. What am I going to do now? Britney Spears. She came in and she said she wanted her head shaved. The hairdresser refused, so she literally grabbed her the hair clipper and started doing it herself. Bradley, did she say why? I mean, did she yes. offer any information? They, they asked why she wanted to shave her head, and she said, I don't want anyone touching me. I'm tired of everybody touching me. Shaving a head and the two tattoos, people remember that. What do you think it'll take to get the paparazzi to leave you alone? I don't know. Is that one of your biggest wishes? Can you not feel sorry for them? Yeah. Whoa. It's okay. I would pain. like to really feel old. Jim Carrey. I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. Oh, oh, oh man. I love this guy. He wishes that everybody had wealth. So they would realize that's not where you find peace. There's Stephen Fry, the famous atheist. Paul or a little text message or, or a something just to say, please call me because they want to hear my voice and just satisfy themselves. That I'm Talking about his family. You know, zoned out in, 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 in misery. And that's it's a wonderful thing because if you added loneliness to depression, you, you really are in, 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 in a world of appalling. He tried to commit suicide twice. Time for the gaga. I have um, some sort of anxiety, depression, something that's changed my whole life. I, uh, I take antidepressant medication for it. Her case was very interesting because you just see her. I mean, she was, back in the days, she used to get the most views. Now obviously it's Taylor Swift and then it's Katy Perry. We're gonna get to Katy Perry. Some of these guys do some funky stuff. Yeah, like I'm talking dark stuff within the Hollywood industry, like devil worship and rituals and all that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, they want the fame. They've sold their souls. And they admit it in the songs and you guys are bopping your heads like, Ugh. F*** beat. Listen to the words in the damn song. I had to stop. Because I, I had everything. And I was absolutely broken inside. And I kept it all together wow. enough to where I would never let you down, but I kept it too much together to where I let myself down. I don't want to see your bodies on Instagram. I want to see Ooh. what's in here. Yeah, that someone like Selena Gomez saying that. Oh, yeah. What are you guys going to do anyway? All right, this guy is uh, Josh Radno from How I Met Your Mother, American sitcom. His thing is pretty deep. As I well. had bought into the not uncommon notion that when I taste success, when I get over there, then I'll be happy. Yeah. But the strangest thing happened. As the show got more successful, 
I got more depressed. Oy. And I kind of had to keep that to myself. The circle of people to whom you can complain about being on a hit television show is unsurprisingly small. <laughs> a lot of people think getting famous will save you, that it will grant you the life you feel you're owed and spare you certain indignities. I was pretty bummed to realize that rather than lessening or eliminating my insecurities and least attractive qualities, it basically poured fertilizer on them. Justin Bieber. But are you ever lonely? Of course, yeah. Um, of I course. get lonely sometimes, yeah. You do? Um, Even with all of this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever get depressed? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. In, in another interview with NME magazine, he goes uh, into his depression a bit more. Katy Perry. You did admit to having once had suicidal thoughts. Very low thoughts. Very low thoughts. Yeah, it's hard because I feel ashamed that I would even like have those thoughts, you know? I'd feel that low or that depressed. Yeah, Katie's songs are like proper dark. Yeah, like she uses some weird imagery and crazy stuff. Now, evil has consequence, guys. Oops, my pen. Now, if you've sold your soul and you're doing this dark stuff and you're misleading people, that will have a toll on you. But the people that are pulling the strings, they don't care. They'll just get another sap to come along. Kendrick Lamar now, yeah? I was surprised to hear some of the things that you were saying yeah. here when, when you talk about depression and, mm. and reveal suicidal thoughts. And right. I'm like, is this real? Is there poetic license? Like, like, where did that come from? What, uh, what prompted that? I think I've, 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 I've pulled that, that song not only from previous experiences, but I think my whole life. Now my favorite guy, Russell Brand. Let's see what he's saying. I thought it would be good to be rich and famous. It would be good to be the opposite of this. It would be good to have stuff. It would be good to have money. It would be good to be invited to the party. Well, I've been invited. I've been in. We're having this chat in a private Swish members club in East London. It's super cool. There's bare brick walls. Everyone's double good looking. But I've been inside now. I've seen the other side of the looking glass. It ain't worth it it's not good don't feed your soul i still feel empty inside and because i tell you why because the things that you're being offered can't feel what we're looking for whoa russell brand Oy. i'll just play this clip of ksi as well the famous youtuber for real like just to just take a break from it all and not having to think about oh i need snapchat this or instagram this or tweet this like the amount of times that i was i've had my phone and gone oh i'd be sick if i just tweet this and then i was like you know what no i need to just sit back relax and just embrace life when we make money relationships jobs education nice house nice wife nice girlfriend or whatever our purpose what happens when we finally get these things and they're not what we expected or they go wrong what then our very foundation our purpose is destroyed and now allah God, whatever you want to call him, he's created us. He knows our purpose because he's our creator. And he tells us that he has created jinn and man for his worship. To worship him, acknowledge him, appreciate him. That's our purpose. And guys, however much we want to wrap it up in fancy vocab, that's the bare bones of the matter. And Sakina and peace that we're looking for, Allah says, Verily, it is in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find satisfaction. In His remembrance, thinking, worshipping, acknowledging Him, that's how we find peace. If you're a non-Muslim and you're watching and you're like, I don't know, I don't know, there's so many religions out there, mate. It's confusing, mate. I understand, yeah? Just like with everything else, whenever it's confusing, you do your research, you find out, you try your best. Whenever you're by yourself, Raise your hands, ask and make this supplication. Say, Allah, if you are there, guide me. If you do this sincerely, Allah will surely guide you. He will surely guide, guide you. Otherwise, it's not your fault because you took the steps. You took the steps. But guys, if you don't take the steps, you can't just say I'm confused all the time. We're confused. With every little thing, we go to the shops, we're confused which milk to get. Oh, there's like 10 different types of milk, 15 different types of biscuits. But we still say, ah, let me sift through which one's organic, which one's got the right stuff, which one's this, which one's that. 
when it comes to religion, die! Ah, forget it, man. It's too much. It's too hard. <laughs> and you know what? Most important of all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what to do. Link in the description. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.